Hello and welcome to part two of this coding homework project uh, where we are doing a C++ exercise called Animal Crossings. In the first part we define our kind of skeleton for our project with all the functions that are going to be in place and included some libraries that we will be using and now it's time to start reading the input and processing it. Uh, so I have an input file called input.txt that I dropped into my project and this is what it contains. It contains, as the assignment calls for, it contains a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, space, and then it takes a, a symbol that we will be using for the, uh, for the pattern that we are going to be creating. So I'm creating first one with X, then uh, with circle, star, but actually, you know what, I can create capital X, like that. So um, anyway, so the pattern is uh, number, space, and a symbol. That's important because that's uh, how we're going to be reading the line, and we need to make sure that the input uh, for the symbol number is 1 through 6. The assignment clearly states that if it's different, then we need to uh, display an error message. All right, so that's my uh, input.txt. So um, how do I read the file? Well, first, I'm going to declare a few constants. Uh, the first one is going to be the file name input, the, the file that we will be reading from. So it's going to be a string file name input and it equals the input.txt that's the name of the file I named it input.txt uh, the next one will be the output file so string file file name for the output and I'm gonna call that as the assignment uh, wants me to patterns patterns dot txt all right so that's our uh, input and output files now we will be creating a two-dimensional array and the assignment says uh, that we need to make it a 15 by 15 multi-dimensional array so i'm gonna create a constant of integer called number of uh, elements and that's gonna be 15 and this is going to be used to create our our uh, multi-dimensional array so which is gonna be an array of characters I'll call it pattern and it's going to be the first dimension will have the number of elements which is 15 and the second will have the same it's 15 by 15 and finally, I'm going to create a, a constant of a character called fill character. This is going to be used to represent empty spaces. So uh, it's going to be literally an empty space character. So when I'm going to write, let's say, a star and then a star over here, then all these spaces in between will be the fill character so it's going to be the spaces that are going to be uh, written and displayed in between the symbols for the uh, actual pattern so i'm gonna just comment this it's a uh, fill character representing white space which is a white space all right, so that's our constants and our, uh, uh, and our array. So now we can go to main and start uh, reading the file. So I'm going to uh, create a variable called in integer pattern number, which is going to be, which is going to hold these one through six numbers from the, from the file. So it's going to be, I'm going to initialize it to zero. The next one is going to be the character for the pattern symbol. 
and I'm gonna initialize it to empty space empty character and that will hold the actual character the X the circle the star and so forth okay so now uh, we and we need to read from the file so I'm gonna declare an if stream um, I just call it input file variable and in it I'm going to this uh, declare what we are reading which we are reading the file the file name input which is the input.txt file that's right here that's, that's our constant and the second I'm going to open it for input this is gonna be just to read uh, read from so open file file for input for reading that's better for reading all right and uh, we also need a string I'll call it line and this one will hold the line that is being read so it will it will well, the first line is one space x the second line it would be two space zero and so forth so these are our variables and now we can do our if the input file so if the input file is still being read and we can uh, we can process it if there's still anything to read if it opens okay and everything is okay with it we can uh, process it so now we will do our file loop and get every line one at a time from our input.txt so we will do we will get one space x and put it into our line variable then two space zero put it into our li line variable and so forth so while our get uh, get line and I'm going to uh, do the input file and I'm putting it into our line uh, which is a string so I'm, so I'm reading the line from the input file and putting everything from that line into our line uh, variable so what's next now I need the um, I need to read or separate them or split them uh, I need to split the number from the symbol so in order to do that i'm going to use i string stream i'll call it iss and i'll pass the line that was being read from the from the file into it so now i can i have access to both those uh both those values or both uh, the number and the pattern so I can read it and separate it so I can read the first uh, character which is uh, the number I'll read it into a pattern number and the next one I'll read into our pattern symbol variable so it will split the line into a number and a symbol so now we will have a pattern number that holds the in the first line it will hold the uh, number one and it hold the pattern symbol will hold the X all right so, and that's in Y loop so it will loop through each line and split every line this way so I'm gonna just put a quick comment here uh, there are two items on each line number and symbol all right so now after that is split we can call our first function which is the draw pattern function and pass the pattern number and pattern symbol into it so draw oops draw patterns uh, patterns and I will pass the uh, pattern number it's the integer and second is the character which is the pattern symbol okay so this will this will do it for each line and after 
there's no more lines to read, we can close the file. So our input file that uh, we can close it, close. All right, so this is the, if everything is okay, if the file could be read, it was found and read from, then it's good. If not, if there's anything wrong with it, we will simply have to exit because we need the input file to for this program to work. So unable to open file would be the else statement. Okay, so this is our, how we read from the file, how we process the uh, number and the symbol from each line, and then we will uh, send that uh, as a, a parameter to our draw patterns function. And in that function, we will determine if the pattern number is uh, valid, and based on the number, we will call appropriate uh, function to draw the, the, the pattern that we require. All right, but that is for the next video. So stick around and I'll see you then. Take care.